in plasma, you got to worry about everything. Um, right. Right. And so it's incredibly difficult to make sense of what is going on, which is why the problem of fusion containment in these reactors is so hard. Makes right. Sense. Okay. Plasma is like more than 90% of the observable universe, the stuff that gives off light. Okay. okay. Plasma is effectively when you get so high temperature and so high energy that the electrons leave the atoms. Right. Okay. When we look out into the night sky, we're seeing stars. Most of that stuff is plasma. Plasma. Okay. When we look at the sun, most of that stuff is plasma. Okay. And it's governed by the interaction of fluid and electromagnetic fields. Okay. This is what's very interesting ab about plasma physics is the mathematics becomes immediately non-trivial. <laughs> okay. It's like extremely hard because fluids by itself is a very hard thing. Oh, simulating fluid dynamics is extremely difficult. It's extremely difficult. Like the Navier-Stokes equation with neutral atoms right. is, a is a millennium problem. It's one of those seven problems, well now six, that have been unsolved, that you get a million dollars if you solve it, which is, do the Navier-Stokes equations have an analytic solution for any given geometry? Mm -hmm. Okay? Nobody knows. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Right? But that's for <laughs> neutral atoms. Now, imagine a fluid where you don't have to just worry about the particles bumping into each other and right. viscosity and all this stuff. Yes. You also have to worry about the fact that these particles have charge. And so they're creating electric fields because any charged particle creates electric fields, but also they're moving. So that's creating magnetic fields. And then those magnetic fields are going to affect the other charged particles around, which are going to affect the other charged particles <laughs> around. So you have this entirely nonlinear process, right, right? That's happening. And it's incredibly difficult. This is why it's very hard to make fusion happen. And this interaction between the electric fields and the fluids is what is described by magnetohydrodynamics, okay? Magneto, because there's magnetism involved, the fact that charged particles are moving around, they create a magnetic field. And hydrodynamics, because it's a fluid of charged particles, right? So you're combining the Maxwell's equations with the Navier-Stokes equations mm -hmm. in some sense to create this really complicated physics. There's there's so many mul there are multiple layers of dynamics dynamic things happening exactly. at the same time yeah and to be able to have an understanding you need to be able to model all of those dynamic layers yeah and how they change over and, time yeah and each little thing is affecting, affecting the, the other others. thing right so you can't really make a lot of a lot of the times in physics we like to be like eh, in this regime this we don't have to worry about this <laughs> in this regime we don't have to worry about this well.